Bryce, how did you, you feel out there, and what were these past couple games like, like on the process to get back? I uh, felt pretty good. Um, started the game off, it was you know just trying to warm up. It was a little stiff. Um, but it felt pretty good, um, and just sitting and watching was was brutal for me. You know, I'm screaming at my phone, my TV, screaming at my fiance, get away from me because she, she. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Like, just get off. But no, nah, it's it's been great seeing those guys. You know, um, just continue to to improve, um, seeing you know the next guy step up and you know uh, really take control of his opportunity. So. Obviously, I missed it. I missed those guys. I miss being out there and in war and battle with them. So it feels really good to be back. You, you come back and Jalen and Al are gone. It's kind of just for yeah. you see Malcolm uh, and Dayton at the end of the third, start of the fourth, kind of seize control of the game. Kind of yeah, it was weird. So we didn't. I didn't really know um, about Jalen's situation until like you know right before the game. Uh, we, we obviously know how, you know, they, the back to back, so we kind of figured that, but didn't know uh, the severity of Jalen's situation um, and just deciding, you know, he wasn't going to play tonight, which is fine, you know. Um, and we, we just love the way that, like I said, the next guy can step up. Like you just mentioned, Peyton and Malcolm coming in. And to be honest, those two in that group uh, with Sam and, and those two in really changed the game for us. Um, you know, they, they got us on a the rhythm, they got a the momentum back for us, and, you know, we're proud of those guys. And, you know, each and every day we try to get those guys their flowers because we understand that, you know, they don't get it as much, but they do a lot of the things that help this team win and go in there. How impressive is it what Peyton's been able to do, the professionalism that he's maintained? It's been incredible, you know, and I think that's why when he gets this opportunity, he does it so well because he is so professional and, you know, he does all the right things to stay ready. And when his number's called, he gets in there and do what he's supposed to do. So, you know, that's Peyton, you know. Um, Peyton is a very professional guy. He comes in every day and he works like, you know, he's a rookie. And when you got a guy like that, his time's going to come. What's it like playing alongside Derek? Oh, it's great playing with Derek. He don't really say too much, but, you know, it's okay because I talk more. So it kind of balances out. But, no, nah, Dwight's, Dwight's fun, you know. Um, just his ability to be able as a guard to, to, to play the defense he does and block the shots he does, especially when he seems to be beat and just recover. So he makes my job a lot easier because, you know, majority of the time I'm guarding the team's best player and it's me. And, you know, he comes in and, and is able to just switch off and give me a break and, uh, you know, still be able to hold his own. So I love playing with Derek. Do you think defensively together you, you give a lot of teams headaches? Like, is that something? Oh, yeah, I definitely think so. You know, because you got to deal with me, and then you got to deal with him right after that, or vice versa. So, you know, we constantly keep teams on their on their toes, um, and we make everything tough for them. At least we try to, and that's all you can ask for from a guy like D. White and me. Just go out there and try to make everything as tough, and, and you know, our offense is going to come. So we're not too worried about that. We got great, great players, great coaching staff that puts us in the right position to win. We just got to go out there and do it. So, you know, for us two to be able to be on the court at the same time doing what we do. Um, I definitely think we give a lot of teams some some, some headaches. Marcus, it looked like they threw a bunch of bodies in the paint when Jason was trying to drive and you were trying to drive. Have you tried to counteract that? Because that seems like something that's given you guys trouble in the past. Get to figure it out. Just make the right play. You know, um, we've got to have a rim threat, and then, you know, you just find the open guy if they're going to do that. You know, we have the advantage. If, you know, JT's driving and he's got a defender on him and they bring an extra defender, that means somebody's open. And we just got to find him. And once we do that, and you know, ironically, the ball finds JT again, and he was the one that passed it because now you got the team in scramble mode, and you know they're trying to stop you know every threat that they see, and they forget you know JT, and that's just how we got to play. When we play that way, uh, it's hard to beat us. What are some of the play calls you like to kind of open up the paint? Uh, obviously, you guys are kind of coming up with a lot of stuff on your own before halftime. To be honest, that's just it. We just reading. Joe has given us the uh, you know the leeway and ability to just read the game. You know, it's a lot of times where he won't even call a play and it's just go make a read. And, you know, we got, like I said, we got a lot of great players who, who basketball IQ is very high, who's been doing this at a high level for a long time. And we just, you know, figuring out, you know, it's going to be times where Joe can't save us and we have to be able to figure out how to save ourselves. And, and he gives us that ability to be able to go out there and do that. What did you guys do in the fourth to uh, limit Kyrie the way you guys did? 
guys did? Was there anything specific you threw at them, or was it just you guys sort of knowing tendencies and taking care of taking away stuff? Like I said, just make it as tough as possible. You know, Kyrie's going to hit some shots. He's going to hit some tough ones. He's going to make some, some crazy shots. He's going to make some shots that make you go, wow. And you just got to tip your head off. He's a great player, you know, and when you're playing against a great player, you just got to do everything to make it tough. And, you know, you tip your head off on the shots they make and you go back and, and you make them guard on the defensive end and, 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 and you know, you just go that way. So um, it wasn't really anything new. We just threw different bodies at him, you know, and uh, we made him work on the offensive end. And then when we were on the, guarding him on the defense, and we just made everything as tough as possible. I'm just curious if you've ever – I'm following another Derek White question. Have you played with a, a fellow guard who blocks shots the way he does? I played with one in college. Yeah. And he was taller than Derek White. <laughs> I actually know he's shorter than White, but he probably was just, he's more athletic definitely than Derek White. But that's is not nobody since I've been at this highest level um, the way he does it. And I think like to think I'm a pretty good defender guard wise and, you know, protecting the paint, but I got nothing compared to Derek White. <laughs> Thanks, Marcus. Marcus, did you chip or chip or anything? Wow. Nope, just bust the lip. I got you. Come on. Thanks, Marcus. You guys, you guys know that those guys would seem like Peyton that want to play more that can't. Do you guys encourage him to tell him keep his head up? I mean, it could be discouraging when one game you're not playing and you're not sure of your minutes because just of the depth. Definitely. You know, I'm constantly telling Peyton every day. You know, and it's. As bad as it may sound, it's the truth and it's reality. We gotta, we gotta live in a reality that, you know, you're not playing on this team. You're not getting the moments you want to want, um, and you think you deserve, which you do, uh, because we're so stacked, you know. But there's 29 other teams watching you. They understand your situation. They want to see how you handle this, and you know, I just constantly tell them when your time is called and it's time for you to go up there for your opportunity, take it because you might never get it again. And uh, I think he's been doing it very well. And that's all we ask for Peyton. When he gets in, we know what he's capable of on both ends of the floor. We know what he's going to bring, and we need him to bring it. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.